Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost! <laughs> I, I'm YouTube Famous Now, available in 2018. <laughs> the TV edition, Dad, AF, available only on iTunes. Thank you for being a friend. Went down the road and back again. Heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Okay, let's get right into this. Welcome, welcome to drama class. Today, boys and girls, we're gonna talk about all of the drama. <laughs> roll call, please. I have my roll call list right here for drama class. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, I see you, okay. Manny, Nikki, Nikki, where's Nikki? <laughs> She's gone. Laura, Jacqueline, James, Quit playing around, James. I know you're just a kid, but quit playing around. Christy? Christy. Where's that raw beauty, Christy? Christy? Oh, she's in Punta Mita <laughs> at the Four Seasons. I'm so happy that raw beauty Christy got sent on this trip, you guys. That is like, <gasps> it totally made my day. I love Christy so much. So, Christy, how are you, girl? Okay. Smitten Kitten? Smitten Kitten. Oh, there you are, Smitten Kitten. Okay, always up in the drama class. Dylan Flanders. Dylan, Dylan Flanders. Oh, there you are. Uh, Aaron Boyd. Oh, oh, I see you, Aaron Boyd. Okay. This crude weapon. Oh, there you are, sitting on the floor. Okay. Jamie Smith. Where's Jamie? 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 Uh, Jamie's not here. She's probably out on the road again. So I went into all of my videos and I just pulled some names to see who might be attending drama class. So if you subscribe to my channel and you like my videos, you too, I won't even know if you do or don't, you too might get shouted out on drama class. So let's get right into the drama. Are you ready? Okay, two minutes. Timestamp that. So all this drama is going on with Toddy, okay? But I have some exclusive information <laughs> that you won't see on any other channel. I promise you. I promise you to come here for the exclusive tea. So anyway, uh, when all this stuff went out, I reached out to Toddy, and she and I had a conversation about what was going on, and she said that she is going to release a video and a statement addressing all these issues. I talked about that in my last video. If you want to go check it out, you can. Um, and I think her video will probably come out today or tomorrow or something. And you know I will have to make a reaction to that and all that kind of stuff. Now, Toddy is also sending me a bottle of the vitamins. Yes, I'm on the PR list. <laughs> so anyway, and she's going to sign it. Hot Toddy! <laughs> Which I live. But anyway, and I will check it out with my doctor to make sure that the ingredients are appropriate for me to take. I promise. And then I will give you guys a honest review. I am also going to be buying the Jeffree Star lip scrubs and that's going to be the first like makeup kind of review that I do on here because people wanted me to do makeup reviews and I'm like I don't wear makeup but I can review products that I do actually use and that is something that I would actually use. I've used lip scrubs before so I'm going to do that on here. But anyway people went crazy. Okay and then this is what happened. So the day of her launch she disabled all the comments on her videos right and people were losing their minds. Thank you for being a friend, Toddy said. <laughs> no, she didn't. So anyway, so she disabled the comments. Well, then she took a Snapchat, okay? And people said it was a Snapchat rant. I don't know that I feel like it was so much a Snapchat rant, okay? A Snapchat rant is kind of like, back it up, fam, back it up. You always talking shit, but you can never back it up. Okay, this was not that, okay? <laughs> I just got a natural tan. But this was not that, okay? This was not, you know, <laughs> we know what that was all about. Th this was, back it up, fam. This wasn't that, okay? This was her kind of saying, listen, it's my day, all right? And she disabled the comments she said, not because of the comments that she was getting or that people were critical of her, but that there was a lot of fighting going on between people in the comment sections. And I have to tell you, though, as a YouTuber, you know, dude with a camera, <laughs> that one of the things that makes me sad is when people fight each other in the comment sections. It's like, I don't delete my comments, but... It really makes me sad when I go in there and I see people that have differences of opinion and they go in there and they just come for each other. And I'm like, listen, at the end of the day, I just posted a video. It's not that deep. You guys don't need to fight about this stuff, okay? And you can talk to each other nicely in the comment sections of videos. I know some people get off on just trolling and leaving the nastiest of comments, you know? And when people come at me like that in the real world, I just kind of don't address it. I'm kind of like, okay, like, sorry you feel that way. <laughs> Move on. 
And, uh, you know, like, I don't engage in that in the comment sections either. And neither should you. You know what I mean? Neither should you. Because you don't deserve to be talked to that way. And it's just, it gets us too heated. And back it up! And then your face is red like mine. And who wants that, right? So, anyway, I was watching all this unfold. Well, I knew she was going to come out with the video because she gave me a very, very long statement. Um, and in the statement, it's basically a lot of what she's going to address in the video. So, I'm just going to let Tati address it. But she said in there she 100% stands behind her product, okay? And she said in there that she's been working with the best experts in the field and nutrition and all this kind of stuff. And she also said that in her, her Snapchat rant, which I don't believe was a rant. It was just kind of her saying, I've had it, okay? It's my day. And let me enjoy my day, right? And um, I, I kind of agree with that. It's like, and I said that in my last video, you know, if everybody wants to come for her the next day, okay. But today, just let her have brunch with her husband and be like, oh my God, I can't believe it's finally my day, right? So... Like, my merch is coming out. It is, okay? So, and I've been saying it for two weeks because I keep on, like, designing new t-shirts. <laughs> and I don't know which ones to put up. So, when my merch comes out, just let me have my day, okay? Everybody deserves their day. Did y'all not see the movie Wonder? I read the book. I haven't seen the movie yet. But he says in there, everybody deserves to have a standing ovation just once in their life. And I believe that, okay? I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the host at Walmart or if you're a waitress up at Denny's. Everybody deserves to have a standing ovation just once in their life. Don't you think that's true? All of us out there? Okay. So anyway, on my last video, I did some polls. I love a good poll. I like stripper polls too. Those are some. But no, I like back in the day when I used to drink, do not ever let me go into a bar where there was a stripper pole when I was drinking, okay? Because I'm telling you right away, I was going to go on those polls and show everybody else that I, else, I was going to go up in those polls and show everybody else that I could uh, do it much better than those gals. And let me tell you, I got kicked out of a, quite a few erotic dancing, <laughs> erotic dancing. Do you remember what we used to call them that? Uh, erotic dancing establishments because I would be drunk as a skunk and try to get up on the pole and listen nobody wanted to see this one up on a pole okay so anyway I have the results of the polls right here from are you ready for this Price Waterhouse can you see just like the Oscars did y'all watch the Oscars did y'all did y'all watch y'all watch the Oscars last night oh my lord I love the Oscars so much so anyway if you want to hear about my commentary about the Oscars go check out my vlog it's already up today but anyway I did a, like an hour conversation about the Oscars and me watching the Oscars back in the day and why they mean so much to me and all that kind of stuff so I have the Price Waterhouse results of my two polls that I put up on my last video so let's get right into this are you ready the first question, the first poll, and we're going to do another poll here after we read the results of these two polls, is was Toddy's magic vitamins a bad idea? Who do you think won? Oh my god, I'm so excited. The results, Jane, the results, giblets, Jane, giblets. Okay, so, I even wrote it out and everything, true story. Okay, was this a bad idea? I received, the question received, I don't own the question. I know some people think they own words. I don't think I own words, okay? I'm just being brutally honest with you, but I don't think I own words. Was this a bad idea? <laughs> 2,307 people, as of two minutes before I filmed this video, have voted on it. 60% or 1,390 said, this is a bad idea. 39% or 917 people said, this is a great idea. So I'm not sure where the other 1% went, but it's out there somewhere just floating around the universe. I ain't got my glasses on. I can't do math. So anyway, but I can flip a fan like nobody's business. Beast. All right. So that was the results of the first one. 60% said it was a bad idea. But even that, okay, 917 people said that it was a good idea. So I don't know. It kind of leaves, a, you know. Back in the day, I would have taken a 39%. Hell, I couldn't even get a 10% on class. So anyway, the next one, but look at me now. I mean, you don't really need to pass classes in high school. Don't listen to that, boys and girls. You should be studying very, very hard. I was driving around listening to Lita Ford smoking cigarettes with my friend drinking Boone's Farm wine. True story, okay? That's why I graduated with a 186 and ended up in treatment five times before I was age of 22. Not a pretty story, okay? Oh, sorry, I'm getting into the... Are you buying it? Next category, Price Waterhouse, right here, stamped. Don't you love that I do that? That's something my mom would have done so back in the day, okay? Let's see what the Price Waterhouse results are. The Price Waterhouse results are. Ow, I almost cut my finger again. I love results. Okay, are you buying it? As of two minutes before I filmed this video, 2,296 people had voted on my question. Oh, it's not my question. I forgot. I'm just being brutally honest. Okay. 
I mean, I came up with the question, but I don't own the words. Uh, 71% or 1,633 said they are not buying these vitamins, vitamins, the vitamins. And 10% or 237 people said yes, they are buying the vitamins. So, and oh, oh, but better yet is that 18% said who'd care? And that was 426 people said who'd care. Those right there are the true wolf peckers that could give a rat's ass about these vitamin, vitamins, vitamins. They don't even give a shit. Vitamin, 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 She should have come up with a theme song for that. Toddy, hot toddy, reach out to me. I will write you a theme song. Vitamin, 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 Okay, so right here at 10 minutes and 30 seconds, we're going to do another poll and then we might release the results down the road. Who knows? I love the poll so much. And the question is a very, very serious beauty question. Do you believe that Peter Mont is dad AF? Yes, no, or who'd care? Leave it in the comment section or leave it in the poll above. So anyway, but here's the thing, okay? Tati then comes out and she says on her Snapchat that she had, I thought those results were kind of interesting, don't you? I either thought they'd be like 80%, like 20%. I was almost going to say 80%, 10% because you know I'm so bad at math, but no, I can do, I can do a little bit of eight and twos. So anyway, um, I thought it'd be like 80% would say, no, hell no, I ain't buying this product, but I didn't think that it would be like that. I should have probably put in there who'd care because I wonder what that other 18% would say. They probably would say, no, I'm not buying it because they couldn't care less about it. So why would they buy it, right? Okay. But then Tati comes out and she says that she's already halfway sold out of her uh, inventory, which she told me in her direct message like earlier in the day. So, of course, that's why would she lie to me? <laughs> nope. Here's the thing, though, okay, is that this is what kills me about it. And people can say what they want to say, but like all of these people are coming out and saying, oh, she's a scammer of the world. That... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that Tati Westbrook, she's a scammer. Have you taken the vitamins? Oh, I know. I've never, no, Jay, no, I've never tried those vitamins. I'll never try those vitamins. Did you see the ingredients they have in them? But nobody, here, listen, true story, okay? Y'all do what you need to do, okay? And I think that taking um, concerns over your health and what you ingest in your body is very, very important. So before you take any kind of health supplement, yes, you should check it out with your doctor. Yes, you should check out the ingredients list to see if you're allergic to anything or if it could be bad for you and on and on and on. I totally agree with that. So people's concerns with that, I get 100% and I stand behind that, right? And like I said in my last video, I think that Tati should have come out before the release and said, these are the concerns. I mean, she knew this was going to happen, right? I mean, let's just be for real. You knew that this was going to happen, that somebody was going to have these concerns. You weren't just going to release it and 100,000 people were going to be like, well, I mean, she did sell that many. She sold like 25,000. But not 100% of the people were going to be like, yes, Toddy, yes, we love you. We love your product. I mean, that wasn't going to happen, okay? It's just not. On any release of any makeup, of any whatever you sell, people, there are going to be some people that are going to say something negative, right? I already know when my merch comes out, it does not matter which slogans I put out there. Slogans. I own slogans. Oh my God. No, I don't. So anyway, I should come up with a t-shirt that says brutally honest. Would you all, I, I'm doing it. I'm coming out with a t-shirt that says brutally honest. But anyway, um, I mean, somebody is going to say, why didn't you have this one? I wanted this one and I wanted it on a coffee mug. And I'd be like, ah, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Let me come out with a statement video. But no, like, I think she should have said that stuff before. And I think that people should be concerned about what the ingredients are and all that kind of stuff. Right? But here's what gets me. I cannot tell you how many times I have walked up into the, Wal to the Walmart or the Miger or the Target or whatever. And I have bought all of those diet supplements that swear to you that you'll lose 20 pounds in a month if you take them. And, you know, I've never looked at the ingredients on there. I guess I probably should. <laughs> But I haven't, you know. I can't tell you. I mean, I, somebody told me the other day because of my uh, migraines. They're like, oh, you need to take such and such a vitamin or whatever. I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't even check out half that kind of stuff. I guess I probably should. So I'm glad that people do have concerns about it and are putting that information out there. But we want to make sure that we're getting out the correct information. So I think that, you know, she needs to come out with this and maybe even like, I don't know, put a statement out, a list of what the ingredients are, what the ingredients do, what the ingredients counteract and all that kind of stuff, because it is something that you are ingesting in your body. And I think we'll find out more when she puts out her statement. And I think it's really, really interesting. I will say this. From a buyer's point of view and from a drama point of view, when we always say in these videos, you know, that like when you have controversy uh, surrounding your release, 
it's bringing a lot of attention to your brand and it's going to make some people interested in it that may never admit that they would buy it but they probably will the other thing is that the price point of these vitamins which everybody is going crazy for is really not that high when you look at it in comparison to other things sure a bottle of biotin at the grocery store is what $6.99 you know but like this isn't just that this is like more and if you look on QVC because I kind of did my research if you look on QVC and you look at other places that they sell similar products this is actually a lower end compared to what some of those prices are that's fact you guys can go look it up as well and I'm not saying that those pr products are magic pills either because they're probably not and I'll probably take it and it won't do shit to me and I'll come on here and be like yeah I haven't noticed a difference and I'll be 100% honest with it I will so anyway um, if my doctor says it's okay for me to take that but, you know, it's just really interesting to me about how this has all gone down. And then I was sitting there and I was thinking today, uh, now I don't think Toddy's the person that would want to stir up drama about this. I mean, she just released a product, but don't you think it is interesting that she didn't release, I mean, she had all the information, right? Why she didn't release all the information before she released the product, and then everybody's hyped up. Every drama channel has made a video about this, okay? And these videos are getting a lot of views on everybody's channels, and everybody is talking about it. Y'all see t video? I mean, she has like 300,000 views on her video. I mean, if she's a she, who knows at this point, right? But I like t videos. But anyway, um, 300,000 views on a video about Toddy's vitamins, 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 voo. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, a lot of people are talking about it. It's stirring up a lot of talk and a lot of conversation. Not stupid when you're doing a launch because if it comes out and the products really do what they say that they're going to do and she can stand behind it 100% and she has a team of experts that are willing to support her 100%, you know, in the public eye, which I'm assuming that she does, and people start talking about this in a positive light, all of that attention that she got is going to turn into money, money, money. So we'll have to see what happens. I think it's very, very interesting, don't you? I know that a lot of you still aren't going to buy it. I mean, should I do another poll? No. Are you convinced any differently? No. I mean, people still feel the way that they feel, and I understand people's concerns about it. I do think at this point it would be smart for her to go forward and do a skincare line with like, you know, creams and lotions and all that kind of stuff. The thing puts the lotion in the basket. So anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.